Hey, what's up, YouTube? I hope you liked all these videos recently. Um, I'm starting to get back on track with all my videos getting uploaded and getting videos. So, <clears throat> I'm getting videos up pretty often now. Um, yeah, and today I'm going to be doing a future plans update. So, let's get started. Um, for my hedgehogs, <clears throat> I'm going to update them for sure. I'm putting them in a CNC. Um, CNC um, cage, you'll see when I get it. They're like made for shoes. They're like an organizer. I'll show you a picture at the end of the video of what I'm going to make. But um, yeah, I'm going to get um, a cage right here and then a cage up here. And I <clears throat> will hopefully have um, a cage right here or the CNC cage right here for my one my one male and then my one female so that would be going that'll be going there probably up to that cage and um, I'm gonna sell the female um, the white one is the female um, you can probably obviously tell by my other video but yeah I'm gonna get them I'm gonna sell her and there's this really really pretty um, salt and pepper pinto female, um, and I have my salt and pepper male, salt and pepper pinto male that I'm going to be getting, and I'm going to breed those, hopefully make a little money, but I'm not going to turn into like a big breeder that just goes for the money. I'm going to breed them, and I can sell them, so, um, I will be getting some babies within four or five months here. Um, as soon as it breeding season starts back up, um, Texas does not have a long winter, so um, as soon as it turns springtime, breeding season, I'm gonna hopefully get a couple babies out of them. So that's a future update for them. Um, the future plan for this little thing right here, I am probably going. I'm putting my Chinese water dragon in there. But that is not going to be his 100% full setup. Um, he, I'm going to make him another one as soon as he grows out of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to build one of those. Um, I'm going to make it myself using um, uh, plywood or just like um, just wood, um, construction wood probably. <clears throat> I'm going to build one of those sort of boxes that go on the ground the boxes and it has a flat and it has that plexiglass screen so um then you just slide each side open like that so yeah hopefully that'll work out and it's gonna come out right to about my foot to the wall you probably can't see that actually but it's pretty far it's a nice setup and I'm going to have my breeding bearded dragons in there. So, yeah, I'm going to be breeding. Um, there's this guy that um, I was um, talking to. And um, he's going to sell me some. He has 40 different dragons. Um, and he has a bunch of bright orange, reddish, like really cool leatherback bearded dragons. I'm going to get into breeding those the brighter oranges, um, the reds. I'm only going to have one pair, though. I do not know what they're called yet, but um, I'm going to do some reading, and I'm going to breed them. Um, and, yeah, hopefully that um, breeding plan works successfully. Um, and as I said, it's like a box with a screen lid on top, so it's wood right here. So I'm going to set a tank on the back right there, so that, that would look really nice. So, so far, I'm going to have my, my breeding beardies right there with a couple tanks on top, maybe a 20 and a 10, or just that tank scooted back. I'll, and But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna set my Chinese, actually, on that wall. So, yeah, I'm gonna put my Chinese in a bigger tank right there, right where that is, and then my beardie's gonna be on the bottom. Um, then I can't put nothing right there because my door, but 
Um, I'm gonna have this is. I'm planning for this to be one of my best tanks, my um, Peacock Day Geckos tank. Um, comment whether you think I should get a Peacock Day Gecko or a Giant Madagascar Day Gecko. Um, yeah, please comment. They're only about a $25 difference. Um, peacocks are a little more because they have that bright turquoise spot um, under their arm. Um, I'm pretty sure they do get a little bit smaller, but not much. So please comment for that. Um, I'm going to have a really nice Exoterra stand right here. I'm going to have my 18 by 18 by 24. Um, my Bromeliad that I bought, it, um, it sort of died off a little bit. Um, well, it started losing its coloration because of all the moving and uprooting it. Um, and it got shaken around in the moving truck and stuff. But a good, um, thing about that is it started its own, it started its own sprout. It's about that big. It doesn't have color yet, but it'll get color soon. And I'm gonna start, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put that in this cage. I'm gonna build my waterfall. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I do know how to build really nice waterfalls. Um, really nice ones that are, um, with the styrofoam and the paint and the, with the knife and I can do the design and the rock and everything. So yeah, um, that's going to be looking really good. That cork and all the moss, I'm going to make it look, probably going to spend 50 bucks within the design, the whole design of it. But um, yeah, now we're going to move on to my closet actually, sorry it's a mess. Um. With that, um, I'm actually gonna put the rack, right? Um, a rack. I'll show you a picture at the end again. Um, it's a rack, and it'll go out to right there. So I'll show you a picture at the end um, of the video. And then there's my chair. Um, yeah, right here. It's my Pac-Man frog tank. Um, you can't see him right now, but he is. Right there, you can see his eye. Yeah, you can just see his eye. But yeah, this is his tank, of course, doing, he's doing well. Um, he's getting pretty big. This is his tank, nothing's really changing with him. But, um, yeah, one thing that I am gonna be getting new, well, my parents are gonna be getting me, is a, one of the exceptions of taking the smaller room, they're going to sell my queen size bed and um, buy a full size bed for me. Um, and it's the bed's probably going to go out to here, probably right, right there. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh. And I'm going to scoop my tank over to be my little nightstand right next to it. All my clothes are in there, so I'm probably gonna, so that's not going to be there. I'm going to have about from the bed to there of just open space. And I have these racks. Um, pretty much put them on the wall right there, wherever you want. You screw them in from the holes down there. And then you put a board on top. Probably going to do a cut. Probably going to do one or two going across like that I'm gonna have put some more tanks on there and then I'm probably gonna be pretty maxed out on reptiles yeah but that's gonna take a long time and um, I'm pretty much gonna have all my breeding I'm gonna be breeding um, the hedgehogs and the beauties um, so yeah look forward to that hopefully that goes well um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna be breeding um, I kind of wanted to breed Pac-Man frogs but um I've never um um I've never really bred a frog before. I've bred hedgehogs before and I've bred bearded dragons before. So I have a little some experience in that, but I've never bred a frog before. So um I don't know what's the deal with tadpoles and all that. So um uh yeah, um someone can help me out in the comments below with that. Um I'm going to be wanting to breed Pac-Man frogs. I'm probably going to take my clothes out of there, and I'll show you real quick. It's a really big 
See, my hand doesn't even fit in the corner and take up all that. It's like really big. It's about the size of, uh, of that much of one of these and it comes out to here. So it's a nice little setup. I'm probably going to get um, maybe a couple breeders in there. Um, <clears throat> um, but yeah, it all depends on if my animals sell because if I can't sell them right off the bat or well, if I can't sell them and they're just taking up more room because they're not selling, then I'm I'm obviously gonna slow down on the breeding and probably wait till I sell them and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks for watching. My um my future plans update video. Um, hope you like it. Um, I'm gonna be getting a reptile room update in a couple months. Um and yeah thanks for watching um don't forget to subscribe to see all my new pets within the future i'm going to be getting water dragons pretty well, a water dragon um pretty soon here christmas is coming up so um peace